Hello friends, today we'll be looking at these 5 RimWorld mods and I'll be showing you what they have to offer and how they work. Now the first mod we'll be looking at is Perfectly Generic Item. Sometimes when you're halfway through a modded playthrough, you might find a unique conflict or some bug that could break your game, all caused by one mod. However, if you remove the mod, it will break your whole save. Sometimes this is fixable by just deleting every instance of the mod from your current map. But this can be a pain, especially with mods that add a lot of assets. So we now have a solution to that problem called Perfectly Generic Item. This mod replaces any items that are removed when deactivating a mod. What does it replace those removed items with? A perfectly generic item. Now it is slightly safer to remove some mods mid playthrough. I'd heavily recommend this mod to anyone who wants to play with mods. It saves you a lot of headache. Next up we have more planning. In the vanilla architect menu we have a simple one color planning tool that sometimes leaves us wondering was that supposed to be a wall or furniture? More planning adds 10 new colors for you to plan with. You can also control the opacity of the plans, show or hide the planning, and even cut, copy, and paste some designs. Now you can spend hours planning out your dream base at the beginning of the game only to die to a man-hunting tortoise five minutes in. Yes, I've experienced that. It is so frustrating. For our third mod, we have more linkables, which adds more linkables. The mod page conveniently already comes with a spreadsheet for all of the linkables it adds, so it shows you the cost and bonuses they add. These linkables can also stack with each other. For example, a multi-analyzer, an advanced multi-analyzer, and a scientist cabinet will all stack to improve research speed. Also, the better tool cabinets and advanced multi-analyzer are locked behind some research. Uh, next, we got a furniture mod. Well, I have two mods that go together, which I call the Gloomy series. We'll first start with the Gloomy Furniture. This mod adds two new tabs in your architect menu called Classic Furniture and Classic Deco. Classic Deco adds boundary stones, rugs, and some other little decorations. Classic Furniture adds a lot of stuff. It basically provides a vanilla overhaul to basic furniture, but it also adds some of its own furniture pieces as well. It also adds a bunch of new decorative plants and trees that you can plant in growing zones. The kitchen part of the house that was in my speed build is not part of Gloomy Furniture. Uh, this comes from a separate mod called Gloomy Extra Kitchen. It basically adds uh, all these furniture pieces and I'm pretty sure it reskins the stoves and the butcher table. Now the kitchen mod also requires you to have Gloomy Furniture. I like the gothic or medieval look this mod adds. It was very fitting in my medieval playthrough, and this was the end game base I had. I also got a link in the description if you wanted to have a closer look at it. Overall, I find it to be a great mod, and I tend to use it a lot depending on the theme I'm going for. For our last mod, we have Rim Skeletons. This mod adds a race that is like a skeleton robot hybrid. So these guys are very rare to find, and for a good reason. They have stats similar to a mechanoid when it comes to fire and sharp resistance, and immunity to temperature and toxic fallout. They don't even need to eat or sleep. However, since they are basically immortal beings, they are usually depressive or pessimistic. They are also still susceptible to pain, mood, and drug effects. A funny thing the mod author added, if your skeleton has a run wild mental break, you can tame them back with chem fuel or uranium. Overall, despite how overpowered they may seem, I think it's balanced as I very rarely ever see them. So if you ever come across one of these guys in a friendly caravan, I recommend you persuade them to join. The mod also adds a scenario where you start with one skeleton and it's basically an easier naked brutality because the guy just doesn't need to eat or sleep. Alright, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button and also to subscribe as I always have more of these videos on the way. 
and it helps my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future.